Hello everybody and thank you for joining. Today's experiment will concern React OS, an operating system attempting to essentially reproduce something like Windows 2000 and XP and explore it as a possible candidate for running on my machine. Now I shall finish installation, which is now underway, and we shall continue from the installed desktop onwards. Reactos unfortunately decided to do Reactos things. So as it does not recognize my network driver, I just got the XP driver, put it on a USB stick and plugged in the USB stick. Boom, blue screen. I rebooted with the USB stick in, thinking maybe things will change if it recognizes it upon boot. No, still blue screen. So without a network driver, I don't see this going anywhere. Nonetheless, of course, I do not wish to have wasted your time. So this is what React OS presently looks like. This is a nightly build. I did not go for their previous a release which was unfortunately over one and a half years old by now and it does look very convincing i must say i am at least from an aesthetic perspective entirely pleased with what they have managed to create and i am certainly impressed by what i see if if we go for games we could be playing win mine i assume yeah there we have minesweeper <laughs> Uh, maybe here, here, yeah, you see, boom. So that is quite impressive. This this does very much convince, even though it is said to be alpha quality software, it does very much convince of a great effort. But unfortunately, without any form of network driver, I don't see how this is going to proceed. I don't want to have an island system. Not to mention, it apparently can't even run um, my USB stick. So I don't have a USB stick, and if I do IP config, which is very cool that it exists actually here, <laughs> all, this is what I get. There is nothing. I, I, I do not get the USB card, but I do not get the other card either. And my only way into the system might be might be, I haven't tried, through the CD-ROM drive. So I could be burning CD-ROMs, like burning CD-ROMs like crazy, in order to get things into the system with uncertain facilities to get stuff out. So while Reactos looks amazing, and I admit that, I'm normally very critical of the guys. I'm saying that, Frankly, like what do they have to show for after nearly 30 years of development? And now I do see what they have to show for and I have to admit, yeah, that is pretty impressive. <laughs> so nothing about that. Like, like that's great, you know, like, like the way they have recreated the default Windows apps, the way this looks and feels, this is, this is beautiful. <laughs> but... I need something more, well, which I can do, use in everyday life, right? So, while well, that is really great, did it just start it from the same place? I wanted to start paint, yeah, right. Wow! <laughs> so, while well, this is truly really, really great, and, and I am a big fan of what has been created so far, I must nonetheless say, that can't be my daily driver and i do say that with a feeling of pity it would certainly have all the talents for being so just factually of course i will need something well usable in in everyday life but that is not meant in any way negatively regarding the effort for a nightly build, which has not been made specifically trimmed for release, you know, no particular handling there, just, just a regular nightly build as they produce them every night. 
this is a very different quality from what I tried just about two years ago. And, and I am impressed. Congratulations, Reactos, guys. I, I do like it. <laughs> Go on, get drivers working, make at least USB sticks smoothly working. Because somehow one needs to get stuff in and out of your system, beautiful as it may be. And with that, it's time to shut down. Ah, what a pity. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you here soon again. Have a wonderful time till then. And from me, goodbye.